Tracy Ellis Ross and a lot of these older women that are on the dating scene are pretty much crashing out at this point. They are going through straight up a midlife wall crisis. For people who may not be familiar with Tracy Ellis Ross, she's an American actress that was on a show called Girlfriends from back in the day. And she later did other films and movies. And she's also the, the singer Diane's Ross daughter. But she is 50 years old and she posts a picture on social media that's taking everybody aback a bit. And it's really tripping me out because um, I remember I used to watch the show Girlfriends back in the day. I thought it was pretty funny. It was some good writing on it. But in the show Girlfriends, it looks like she honestly pl played herself in that role. A mid-aged to older successful woman that put her career before having a family. She cannot keep a man. Every man that she met on the show, she pretty much ran them off. She surround herself with ego-driven women on the show and they can't keep a man either. So it looks like the role she played on that show pretty much came to life. Like this is what she's living now. And, and we've heard about relationships she's had dating guys in the industry and obviously none of that worked out. But at this point, when she posts this picture this weekend, it's pretty much looking like straight up desperation. And guys, we're not going to cap on this for her to be at 50 years old and still look this great. Like, there is something to be applauded. I, I think the young guys love to say she's still smashable. And, and she's starting to age now, but she do still looks great. And we see a lot of women going through this transition of just, you know, straight up hitting that midlife wall crisis where they're just doing anything for attention. Even the artist Jeanette Mole, whatever her name is. But if anybody can remember her when she came out back in the day, I think she came out with Outcast under 3000. And this is a woman who back in the day, she used to wear a full pledge suit on stage and, and she used to be dancing like James Brown and Michael Jackson. I don't know what happened. She was on some old, you know, fully dressed, fully clothed, all freedom. And I think she was a bi. She dated women as well because I know she dated that woman from um, the Marvel series. And it looks like now that she got a new album coming out, she's pretty much been flashing her breasts, showing her breasts a lot. I, I don't know what's up with her just showing her breasts like that's going to, you know, get some album sales going, but it's really not. And just to show that her her album is still flopping and she's still out, you know, showing her breasts. But, but I think Janae at this point is just trying to it's just trying to gather any type of attention to get her album sale going and it's really not working and it's very unfortunate that these women got to go through all these antics to get attention. You've got a single 46 year old woman. She's found herself in an unhappy situation. She's got a lot to say. I want a relationship, you know, that's what I want. I had all the adventures. I have all the stories to tell. You know, I just want somebody that I can count on. All I just heard is that she had all the partying. She was out there finding herself for a really long time. She's 46. How appetizing to a man to know that you got all the nasty out of your system. And now here he is. You want someone reliable and dependable now that you did all that. And he. When do you think you're going to hit your wall real? Realistically. Oh, like I literally have glowed up every single year. Like every month I get hotter. So I don't believe in a wall. I think that's wall? probably like 55. Okay. What do you mean wall? It's all Explain mentality. To me like, mean, unfortunately, like when you're hot, you get so much more power. It sucks, but it's the truth. Wall as in fertility window dies down, your looks fade, stuff like that. Okay, I feel like 37, almost 40. I feel like the stigma is like 30. It's like when girls are supposed to be like, uh, well, like you have I to settle woman, down. Like I don't base my worth on my fertility. So I think that probably like 60, even 70. One could argue that a woman's most prized possession is her ability to reproduce though. Um, because I have a successful job <laughs> in the business intelligence industry and I make my own money and my happiness doesn't stem from having children. A term that I keep hearing bandied about on here is hitting the wall. Several men have said that I have hit the wall. I'm not going to let that get me down because upon further research, the term refers to any woman over age 29 because by that age, she has allegedly lost all of her sexual desirability and therefore hit the wall. Men, do some of you really believe this to be true?
Let me know. I am not capable of casual hookups anymore, you guys. Clearly, I haven't hooked up with anyone for four months. Um, which is like the longest it's been probably since I've been sexually active. Um, yeah, and I gave in and I let my guard down and holy fuck, sex is really sacred. I'm a little bit mad at myself that I um, shared it so willy-nilly. Holy fuck, I did not realize how much I was I have been craving a really deep love. I'm a sensitive girl, you guys. Holy shit. Um, but now I know. <laughs> Hookups are not for me. I used to be able, like a year ago, if you asked me all the names of the people I hooked up with, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> but yeah, wow. Um, sex is sacred. You should have thought of that earlier. Just an update from your 35 year old best friend in Brooklyn. I actually agree with Max's comment here. Women do hit the wall around 30. Yeah, we've actually been dating so much and we've done so much work on ourselves that we've hit the wall of dating immature, emotionally unavailable, patriarchal and misogynistic close-minded men. Yeah, we're really looking forward to emotionally available partners who can support us and we can support them. So yeah, I'm so glad that, you know, word is spreading. Um, I hope this is the beginning of a revolution. So look, there is a negative phrase that is going out um, and it's usually used by men as a rebuttal to something that we said that they didn't like in regards to dating or the the way that the current dating situation is and how men act nowadays. So they hit you with this in order to hurt your feelings. And that phrase is that you have hit the wall. But in regards to quality, being able to be selected based on the fact of what I bring to the table. And I'm not talking about financial men. Don't look at all that kind of stuff. I know who I am as a woman and I know how I can make my man's life easier. Right. I know I haven't hit the wall for that. And I get offers every day and I'm being 100 percent transparent with you that I am approached by both young and old alike. And some will say, well, you know, yeah, so somebody will approach you to have sex with you, but nobody's trying to take you serious. Do you know what I mean? how many relationships I have turned down this year? Because I have been through some shit. I realize what it's going to take for me to be in a relationship and be happy. I am no longer settling because you're a good guy. We're all good people in our own way. Right. But it doesn't mean that you are a good person or a good fit for the person that you happen to want. So I'm no longer caring if somebody tells me that I have hit the wall. Who cares? Because there's somebody in my age range who is on the same level that I'm on, who wants to do the things that I want to do. And they won't consider me as being hit the wall. In fact, they will let me know that I have broken right through that bitch. And that's it. This woman here hollering about a good man is not even good enough. But what she failed to realize is that being overweight is way worse than being old. You can't have it all, ladies. You can't reverse back time for your mistakes. I think it's pretty obvious that these women are doing these publicity stunts to keep themselves in the news they have to do anything to stay relevant just look at the artist madonna a lot of these ladies just be talking straight out of trying to rebuttal whatever a man got to say that's straight facts but that's all i got in this video hit that subscribe button on your way out also don't forget to follow me on dating right clips and ronin passport thanks for watching the video to the end i will see you in the next one